Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Coleman Roush, and I am the writer S.C. Coleman. In these series of videos, I will be detailing various occurrences that happen throughout my adventures or travels through Mexico, mainly starting in the Yucatan and moving up the coast. I keep most of my documents and notes inside of this very attractive <laughs> or eye-catching binder. And so for this video, I'll be running off of some notes that I wrote. Just general annotations to spark memory, pretty much. So, starting out with Cancun. See, I traveled to Cancun with my significant other, who at the time was pregnant, and now we have a daughter. So while we were there, we were looking for a place to stay, a uh, month-to-month rent type of deal. And so we found this place that had birds, a macaw and another bird, other birds, and trees and stuff painted on the wall. It was uh, more of an orange sort of motif. And this was the outer wall that would lead on to a large, busy street around the center of the city. And so while we were looking, we ran into that, well, in this place, there were two towers, and there was a lady that was renting out a room on either side. Now, the lady on the right side was trying to charge less than the other one, but after talking to her, she told us that we could not rent there because of people in our situation. Now, so we were there on a tourist visa, and that could be a lie, because that seems to be a common behavior around here, lying. But it could also be that, for different reasons. Anyway, that's what she said. So if you imagine if you're a tourist, you should be on the lookout for that, that people will treat you particularly differently. It won't allow you certain services and things like that for being in your situation. So we went with the other lady, and that wasn't necessarily better, but it was livable, which was all right. Anyway, uh, in the tower across from the one that we went to live in, there was somebody who was keeping a lot of dogs. Now these are uh, sort of two-bedroom. Well, the one we stayed in was uh, up on the top floor was two-bedroom. Uh, others are not two bedroom but they're either one to two bedroom flats basically or, or a floor apartment and not a great place to keep a bunch of dogs i mean by a bunch of dogs talking like 10 or 15 which meant that every morning you had a very strong powerful smell of dog poop now i don't know what that individual was doing with their collection of dogs Anything would be speculation. They could have been robbing people's dogs from around and then selling them somewhere else. They could be have been keeping like a doggy daycare type of deal. But either way, that's all speculation. I don't really know what was going on there. But it smelled like dog poop every morning. So that was interesting. Uh, also, there was a construction project that decided to set up next door and drove out most of the tenants because they wouldn't stop. They worked all day. And for a long time, it made a lot of noise, pretty much. So that was kind of interesting. But the biggest problem, I think, there was the fact that the lights, the Wi-Fi, and the, the water would go out a lot. And I mean a lot. Like, you could be a week or two weeks without uh, water or or Wi-Fi or something like that. Well, 
it was pretty much worse with that when the lights went up because then you wouldn't have air conditioning, of course, because they're connected to the electricity. And they, they didn't give you any discounts or anything like that. It was just, it happened and that's that. Then, if a person travels to Cancun and decides to stay there, they should probably plan for the water to go out, which means that your, your plumbing will require you to have water stored up. Which, so we kept a bunch of empty water bottles. Well, not empty, but we kept a bunch of water bottles that were filled with tap water so we could dump it. But you should definitely not drink the, the water because the, there's a, a residue. Even after you boil it, you get a residue on the top of the water. But I think probably the worst experience that we had in Cancun was with the immigration people. Where trying to get... See, they charge for everything. So they charge for you to even get paperwork done, right? And so when we went to had gone to Mexico City originally, the immigration people there had told us that we wait until our visa expires to renew it. That's a lie. Which, of course, we found out in Cancun was a lie, but then they decided to pile on their own lies, so I don't really... You can't really trust anyone. They're, they're all lying one way or another. So we went to the immigration place and it was completely packed with people because they basically were refusing to process people's paperwork. And it's likely a scheme that had likely, I don't know, I couldn't, I would need to research it, uh, investigate it more to find out if, it, if it's true. But I believe that it has to do with schemes with the lawyers where the people in the immigration offices will refuse to process paperwork if it doesn't come from a lawyer. Either way. Uh, every month we went there and we had to schedule so that basically you had to schedule an appointment online and it took a month because all the appointment slots were full. However, by the time <laughs> that the month was up and you got to your new appointment, the fee for processing paperwork had changed. So three times we did this. We went to the immigration. We paid the fee, right? We got the paperwork to pay the fee, actually, because you had to get the paperwork to go to the bank to pay the fee. And then we rescheduled an appointment. When we went back to the appointment, the fee had changed. It had gone up. So we had to get another set of paperwork, go to the bank, pay the fee, wait for our appointment, go back. It changed again. So we said, finally, this, this is enough. They are not going to do anything for us. But that's not all that happened with the immigration people. First of all, they corral people kind of like cattle, right? You have these cattle guards that you have to walk through, sort of like you find in an airport. Except the seats are very comfortable, they're metal. The people are incredibly rude. They aren't helpful. They yell at you. They're very abusive, very unprofessional, and not very well trained. It's sort of like if you're voluntarily going to be extorted. That's what it's like there. Anyway, the immigration lady told my spouse, significant other, mother of my child, whatever you want to say, that in order for us to get a residency visa, our child, newborn child, had to go and get a vaccine. It's a lie. Uh, probably some sort of vaccination payment scheme going on there. But either way, that's a lie. There, there's no plausible reason why that would be true. It's not true. If you look it up, it's, it's a lie. So that was interesting. And uh, when you push these people on this stuff, they get very aggressive and angry. And they yell at you. And they act entirely unprofessionally. They are completely, and in every sense of the word, petty dictators. But the lying part, too, is, is rather aggravating because it means you just you can't trust anything that these people ever tell you there there were a few other situations but these are the main highlights worth noting now we did have some things going on with airbnbs but that's basically universal so i won't quite cover that now there are two more things that i would like to mention that are of note for the cancun visit and one is the fact that Everything that we're paying for when it came to renting gradually increased in price. To that way, we were paying almost double 
what we had originally agreed upon. Well, okay, it was an almost double, but it was it was a significant increase. And we left the place very clean and very well kept, of which I took many pictures for this purpose. Yet the uh, security deposit was never returned, which is uh, appears to be a common theme along with lying, specifically in Mexico, lying about basic things. Uh, specifically giving people bad information so it leads them down difficult paths. Clear, clearly money laundering schemes and things like that. And then, of course, the entire lack of professionalism when it comes to business dealings. Rampant everywhere. <clears throat> anyway, thank you. If you have enjoyed this video and those in this series, please like this. Share it, subscribe to my channels, and check out all of my other content. There are free books available at the link. And if you so desire, you may support my work at PayPal or Cash App. Thank you.